Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people! It's your boy, mmm, let me do that. Coming back with Final Fantasy 16. We just helped Etienne with delivering crystals and got some bunch of stuff and blah 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 blah. blah. We're just doing a bunch of side quests right now and uh, go moving on to help uh, the dame. Yeah, so uh. Now, I never wish ill on people too, 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 too much, right? I hope I transform to Ifrit and just completely destroy this place. Yeah. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. I understand. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with Return to your post. Oh. What's up with the what happened to the other there? Okay, hopefully it's just a little floop there. The audio cut out a couple times there. I don't think I can do it yet, right? No. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Oh. Dang, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! I really hope I transform into e free and come Except the beer is the ones that helps them. Yeah. It looks like you need it. Bear comestibles. Mm -hmm. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? Then wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, but... Wow. Like, you just want to help them, right? A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway. There's a reason why slavery was fought off and abolished, right? Like, like you, you play these games and like everything bad that has happened for mistreatments and stuff like that throughout history. And like, I'm not only talking about like, you know, like the African slavery that happened in North America, right? Like, there's a lot of history in the world that slavery and th and just genocide and things like this has happened right all of them you know world war ii the slavery the the white slaves of the, the mediterranean oh, were the uh, islamic you um you know the the, the like the northern it's african countries bad. were taking the slaves and you had the slaves in the uh, east asia and all right are you here for business or pleasure Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. 
Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. Oh, he got in bed. Oh, you shy, Clive. Oh, adorable. Hmm. Oh, this is so good. I'm drinking as like half and half of, um, I have like French vanilla cappuccino powder. And then I put, it's, it's, it's like a gourmet, hot, like hot chocolate, you know, hot cocoa. But the, uh, oh, what's, it's, it's those little minty after eight or something like that. I don't remember. So it's like a peppermint ish flavored hot chocolate with French vanilla mixed together that I'm drinking right now. And it is delicious. Mmm. 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 So that's Luna. My daughter also named her. Yeah. My daughter likes um, black animals. Like in black and white animals. Because Sandy. If I could put my finger in the right spot. Ah, bah, 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 nah, there you go. Is a um, uh, mix Australian Shepherd and Golden Retriever, but she looks like a border border collie. And I, like, and most of them, if you look, if you Google it, if you Google Australian Shepherd mixed with Golden Retriever, they're like four colors, long for gorgeous dogs. And out of the batch, two of them came out with just two colors, black and white. And my daughter was like, "I want that one." Okay. And then we got Luna. Oh, she's gone. Black cat. Oh, where am I going, anyways? I'm talking enough. Hey, look! Oh, look at that. A a, 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 we were rewarded from our mistake with some candy. Yeah. So Luna, same thing. Daughter named her Luna because she's black, All right? So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. I'm an escort. And you've already been sent mm. off on an errand, eh? Mm, I'm an oh, escort, boy. yes. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? I'll bet you his name starts with an S. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. I've heard about that. Not certain sure people, garrison. certain men, Seems <clears throat> a trip to the barracks is that um, uses all of their money on a girl that they don't even go out with. Well then. I get their attention. Gets jealous. Yeah. Oh. The market's on. Doesn't sound like a good time. It's not been half a moon since Ben. Is it him? I heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. Fuck you! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately. Yannick? It's all French On names. Of him being in war, really? Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed.
Wait, is that the guy that was at the hideaway? Greetings. You are one of the dames chosen, I see. Me? I am but a nameless weaver of song, who would warm the hearts of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit me to make. Oh yeah, my bard. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. We gotta go after Yannick. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Yeah. Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Mm -hmm. You'll find they have little love for bearers. Then they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. All right! <clears throat> We're going to Moor! For more story! Hey! Hey! Man! Hello, good sir. Oh, how are you doing? You gonna have a good time? Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Orifla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Very ominous music. These must be the wheat fields of doom. Wait, like, do they just randomly attack people? I'll bet you there's something there. Oh, I wanna, like, I got a niche. I gotta go check it out. But first! Oh, okay, well. You gotta die, Bluebird! Oh, you dead, Bluebird! Come on, come on, bring it on, bring it on. Come on. Man, man. Mm. I was trying to parry and practice, take the time to practice, right? It seems like if you want to learn how to parry monsters, you gotta practice a whole lot. Is there like nothing here? Did I? Well, I don't know, there's... Come on, there's gotta be some goodies and candies around, right? Ooh, yeah! Mm, belly matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Holy man, this music. Like, there's something with, like, it's it's giving you, like, it's giving me, like, jibby vibes, right? Ebby jibbies. <sighs> I keep I keep forgetting to use like freaking Torgul and shit. Yeah, I want to go check see what's up there. I'll bet you I shouldn't even try to do that. I'll bet you that I need to come here later for the story. But explorations, so much fun, right? Watchtower. 
Should be well stopped. Yeah, right. Wait. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. I am I I am here to make your your lives hard. I'm here to just wreck faces, bro. Something. Don't let them get away. Oh, okay. Give them all you've got. Nah, nah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I do not know what I am doing. It's good times. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to try to use Torgol to use Ravage to make them fly up and then I could jump to them and use the move up there, right? I didn't even notice what I just grabbed. Oh well. We'll eventually see it. I can't go in, right? No. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. This feels coming here was a little bit of a waste of time. We did get to fucking bash them Imperial faces though. So I guess I can't complain too much. Keep your distance, boy. Nice, yes. Garuda, lend me your strength. Okay. All right, I think this is enough explorations for now. It's a whole bunch of stuff around, but you know. <clears throat> I've quickly learned that. You don't really find much during explorations. Hello, travelers. Oh well, wait, 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 hold up. We you got. Me. Shift your you, Brandon, here now. Benoit. You're late. What kept you? What do you mean? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well. Don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. <sighs> Fine. All right. Where is he? <sighs> My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. I would have rather said no and tell you. Not you. But unfortunately, it's not him that's in trouble. This is his son. And maybe his son is, is an okay Someone person. His son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Yeah, Something's but. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Yeah. Mm hmm. The uh, wolf, it's going to eat me. Not if I can help it. No, it's not. Something's. Yeah, this is weird. This is not normal. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Rabbit. Stay down. Something's weird, right? Yeah, I agree. I agree with Clive on this one. Something felt a little suspicious. Hmm. No, you won't. 
supposed to kill Wolfie. You were supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Kid! Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? <clears throat> Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. work no doubt but it's not the wolf that's to blame I Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again mm -hmm. I hope I transform into Ifrit and murderize a lot of people burning it the countryside burning it all the peasants not the peasants peasants are probably the beers right Pe Burning in all the rich people and the Imperials and guards and shit and fuck you, you piece of fucking shit. Fuck you. Here, oh, this fuck you. Trap Trap fucking Benoit. How dare you frighten my son? How dare you, <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. You are you. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. Every oxygen wolf that goes in your body is a down. fucking waste. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? <clears throat> How dare you deceive me? Can well, we can we start murderizing now? The slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. It seems that I have a very important decision to be making. Yeah, no, you know what? Fuck you. I don't answer the dame no more. I answer to myself. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Continue speaking. Shut your mouth and listen. Yeah, oh. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. Good! How dare you threaten us? Bring it on. How dare you? Bring it. You? Come on. Can't we just buy another house? Let's go! A bigger one, a better one. Let's go! Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. No, nah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Why can't we just slice their heads off? Why don't we have a slice their head off button? Hey! All victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. I really 
really starting to hate North Reach and all this area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of people deserve to die! May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Oh, I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. I feel a bit better. You don't have to. No, I know. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. That's two less um fucking assholes gone from this world. World's a better place. Mm -hmm. I know one of them was a kid, but you could. Yeah, he was definitely raised by his father, and definitely was a piece of shit. So, <clears throat> you know. I want to go see them fucking corpse now. Oh, all there is is blood. I don't get to see fuck. Oh. I was hoping to see uh, mutilated bodies there. Mm -hmm. Like a psychopath. Lizette! Um, have you seen my Chloe? Chloe? No, I did not see her. her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Sure. You seem sweet. Not like I that asshole piece of shit her, kid. I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. And it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Playthings. White hair. That's a lot of field to search. Oh, this little this this out. little kid that better not be a bitch too. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. I have a bad feeling about this. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. <laughs> F 
fastidious farm wife. What the hell? I'm gonna have to look up that word later. Yeah. Oh, is that Chloe? Okay, it is a dog. Okay. I More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. Oh, my gut feelings were right. Enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. Holy but you became f Chloe's family when oh. you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> She's all right. She's alright, she just have shit parents. Ooh, my my heart is not in a good spot right now. And and this 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 very this music, right? It's just making everything just feel hmm. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says... That parkour! It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Alright, let's go talk to... I'm, I was just looking to see if there's an obelisk around, I don't see anything. Let's talk to the merchant. Oi, don't touch anything. Alright. I think they just all have the same... The same stuff, right? I probably now have, um, where is it? Items that I can sell, right? Valuable can be traded in for gale, yeah. So You're lucky to get that much. Man, I'll pay what it's worth and no more. Man, you sound like Karen. Good riddance. I'm about to go to murder's rage. Hey, Batro. Are you Bertrand? Batro! The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their way <laughs> on their way <laughs> to the camp. <laughs> Oh, I cracked my back and now my, my neck cramped up. <laughs> ah, the pain! Oh, ooh, ooh, all right. <laughs> the hell? Oh. Yeah, that 
was great. <laughs> so, but only <clears throat> one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The traitor. Oh yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting. From what I hear, if you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sure <coughs> hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. I weren't expecting any new branded until the new one. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? I am a deserter. Who said that? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Suck up. What is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her Suck you, up. that I was helpful. I mean, most helpful. Definitely a suck up. All right. Oh, priest. You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces. But her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. Hmm. Man. Yeah, this music is... It smells of death here, Togo. Yeah, it does. This area definitely wants wants me to go on a murderous rampage. But the blood is long dry. It's, it's not the wolves. So it is you, Tatian. That's probably Yannick. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. That's what I said. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? 
Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. His woman. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? Yes. He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. But why would... What, is that wise? Why wouldn't they be able to? Oh, like, they weren't covering up this mess. Like... The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Like, would the dame would have not allowed her... I need to tell Isabel. Like, Tatien to get married and just leave? Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember. Are they Tatien a fucking by? slave to the dame as well? Because if that's the case... I don't like the dame either, but I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. Not yet. Yeah, I, I'm. I got a lot of negative feelings right now. If it uh, was a message that they well, there she is. You are still in one piece, I see. How kind you of you to walk here? To hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Okay. Thank you, but okay. You need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. My dear Tatien, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. Why? I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a significant amount of uh, XP there, I think. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. I don't think I want it anymore. Today counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Yeah! Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. Yeah, you said that already. Oh, 
pieces of candy. Five gills! Depends on how much piece of candy you're worth. The five gills might be worth a lot. So I think this is a pretty good spot here to uh, end it this time. And um, I shall see y'all in the next one. Sweat up! Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.